Picture yourself in a dimly lit room, the flickering glow of the TV casting a mesmerizing dance of shadows on the walls. It's one of those nights when you stumble upon a cinematic gem that refuses to fade into the recesses of your memory. The year is 1979, and as you settle into your comfy armchair, the unmistakable strains of a harmonica fill the air, like an eerie, yet strangely comforting melody. Clint Eastwood, his rugged face etched with determination, takes center stage. This is your first encounter with the enigmatic masterpiece that is Escape from Alcatraz. As the plot unfolds, you're transported to the infamous Alcatraz Island, a place where the inescapable meets the unconquerable. The story, rooted in the real-life escape attempt from the inescapable prison, keeps you on the edge of your seat. The tension is palpable, and you can't help but hold your breath as the prisoners hatch their audacious plan. Fast forward to the midnight hours, the endless churning of your thoughts lingering long after the credits roll. The film has left an indelible mark on your cinematic journey, an iconic chapter in the book of movie memories. Now, as we delve into the riveting world of Escape from Alcatraz, let's uncover some intriguing and lesser known facts about this cinematic treasure. So, sit back and let the journey begin. Escape from Alcatraz, a 1979 film directed by Don Siegel, is a gripping prison escape drama that has left an indelible mark on popular culture. The movie is based on the true story of the 1962 escape from the notorious Alcatraz Federal Penitentiary, and it stars Clint Eastwood as Frank Morris, the mastermind behind the daring breakout. Eastwood's iconic portrayal of Morris, coupled with his trademark steely determination, remains one of the defining roles of his career. The film's unique style lies in its meticulous attention to detail and the tense, suspenseful atmosphere it creates, drawing viewers into the harrowing world of Alcatraz. It's a character-driven narrative, focusing on the complex relationships and individual struggles of the inmates as they plan their escape, making it a character study as much as an action thriller. Escape from Alcatraz had a significant impact on popular culture by immortalizing the Alcatraz escape, which remains one of the most famous prison breaks in history. The film not only shed light on the harsh realities of life inside the infamous prison, but also inspired countless other escape-themed movies and contributed to Alcatraz's status as a legendary American landmark. It continues to be celebrated for its portrayal of the enduring human spirit and the pursuit of freedom against all odds. Escape from Alcatraz, the 1979 film was adapted from a book of the same name by J. Campbell Bruce, published in 1966. Don Siegel, in the same year, crafted a treatment called The Rock, drawing inspiration from Bruce's work. Scriptwriter Richard Tuggle invested six months in researching and crafting the film's script. He struggled to find a literary agent until he reached out to Don Siegel's agent, claiming to have met him at a party. Siegel passed the script to Clint Eastwood, and the purchase reportedly marked one of the fastest deals for a first movie script. Tuggle later directed Eastwood in the film Tightrope in 1984. Interestingly, Clint Eastwood portrayed Frank Lee Morris, who was 13 years younger than him at the time of the escape. Morris was 35, while Eastwood was 48 during the making of the movie. These behind-the-scenes insights offer a glimpse into the making of this iconic prison break film. In the 1979 movie Escape from Alcatraz, Danny Glover made his theatrical debut as one of the prison inmates. He portrayed the inmate whom the main character, Frank Morris, first encounters when delivering books. Clint Eastwood took on the lead role in the film under the condition that the producer and director, Don Siegel, would operate under Eastwood's Malpaso company. Siegel agreed to this and purchased the movie rights for $100,000. However, a rift reportedly developed between Eastwood and Siegel. Although they reconciled, the movie ultimately became the fifth and final collaboration between the two, with the film being produced by both Malpaso and Siegel but distributed by Paramount Pictures. In 2015, a History Channel documentary received photographs from the family of the Anglin brothers, who were characters in the film. The photos were allegedly taken around 1975 in South America. Facial recognition experts believed the photos were authentic, suggesting that at least the Anglin brothers survived the escape. 
As of 2018, they are still considered at large. These intriguing aspects of the 1979 movie Escape from Alcatraz shed light on the film's behind-the-scenes dynamics and the enduring mystery surrounding the real-life events that inspired it. Visitors to Alcatraz Island can see the actual cells that housed the real-life inmates portrayed in the 1979 movie Escape from Alcatraz. Clint Eastwood played Frank Lee Morris, Fred Ward was John William Anglin, and Jack Thibault portrayed John's brother, Clarence Anglin. Their real cells numbered 138, 150 J. Anglin and 152 are in B Block, known as Michigan Avenue, on the bottom row. However, the movie used different cells located in C Block on the Broadway side, along the bottom row. The disorientation Frank Morris experienced after being released from solitary confinement is based on real inmate behavior. One former convict who served time in Alcatraz said, you either came out a man or something less after time in solitary. In the movie's opening scene, fresh water was brought in by boat to create rain. Using salt water was not an option because it could have damaged costly equipment. These behind-the-scenes details add depth to the 1979 film Escape from Alcatraz and shed light on the accuracy and effort put into recreating the prison's atmosphere. It's a reminder of the film's commitment to portraying the real-life escape and life on Alcatraz Island accurately. In the 1979 movie Escape from Alcatraz, Clint Eastwood played the role of Frank Morris, a real-life inmate who successfully escaped from the infamous Alcatraz Island prison. The film, directed by Don Siegel, is known for its gritty portrayal of the escape and the tense atmosphere of the prison. While the movie focuses on the escape, there are interesting tidbits related to it. One notable detail is the movie that Frank, played by Clint Eastwood, is watching along with other inmates. The film Thayer Watching as Hell is for Heroes, which was also directed by Don Siegel and starred Steve McQueen. This connection adds an intriguing layer to the film, showcasing the director's previous collaboration with a renowned actor. Another interesting aspect is the role of Fred Ward in the movie. Escape from Alcatraz marked one of Fred Ward's first major roles after appearing in a series of small roles. This film played a significant part in launching his career as an actor. Moreover, the popularity of Escape from Alcatraz has had a lasting impact on Alcatraz Island. Since the movie was shot on location, tourists visiting the Alcatraz prison often inquire about Clint Eastwood's cell. This curiosity is a testament to the enduring influence of the film on the Alcatraz experience. In conclusion, Escape from Alcatraz is not only a gripping prison escape film, but also an interesting piece of cinematic history with connections to other notable works and actors. Its influence on Alcatraz Island tourism and the careers of its cast members is a testament to its enduring appeal. As we draw the curtains on our exploration of the 1979 cinematic masterpiece, Escape from Alcatraz, I invite you to take a moment to reflect on the profound impact this film has had on your own life. Just like Clint Eastwood's determined portrayal of Frank Morris and the prisoner's relentless quest for freedom, we all possess a unique journey seeking our own escapes, whether from the confines of a prison or the limitations of our daily lives. This tale of resilience, ingenuity, and the indomitable human spirit resonates with us on a profound level. Have you ever found yourself facing seemingly insurmountable challenges, much like the inmates of Alcatraz? Perhaps you've uncovered your own rock hammer, a symbol of unwavering determination that has helped you chip away at your own barriers. In the darkness of Alcatraz, the film shines a light on the strength of the human soul, reminding us that even in the most desolate of circumstances, hope endures. Have you ever experienced such a moment where hope, like a glimmer of sunlight, broke through the clouds of despair? Now, I encourage you to share your favorite memories, reflections, or thoughts about Escape from Alcatraz. Did it leave an indelible mark on your heart? Does it serve as a source of inspiration or motivation for you? We'd love to hear your unique perspective on this timeless classic. Thank you for joining us on this cinematic journey through the haunting, unforgettable corridors of Alcatraz, and for sharing your personal connection with this remarkable film. 
Your presence has truly enriched our discussion. So, until we meet again in the realm of words and stories, remember that the most enduring escapes are the ones etched in our hearts. Keep exploring, keep seeking, and keep breaking free from your own Alcatraz. Stay inspired, and thank you for your time and interest.